Glory to God alone. Solo a Dios la gloria. Bienvenidos una vez más al sermón de este día, preparado especialmente para Genesis Presbyterian Church y todas nuestras amistades. Welcome to today's sermon, which is titled, Ask, Seek, and Knock. Pedid, Buscar, y Llamar. La palabra de Dios se encuentra en este día en Mateo capítulo 7, versículo 7 al 11. We will listen to the word of the Lord today in Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 11. Let us pay attention and reverently listen to God's word. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For every one who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven Give good things to those who ask him. Pedid y se os dará. Buscad y hallaréis. Llamad y se os abrirá. Porque todo aquel que pide recibe y el que busca halla y al que llama se le abrirá. ¿Qué hombre hay de vosotros que si su hijo le pide pan le dará una piedra? ¿O si le pide un pescado le dará una serpiente? Pues si vosotros, siendo malos, sabéis dar buenas cosas a vuestros hijos, ¿cuánto más vuestro Padre que está en los cielos dará buenas cosas a los que le pidan? Esta es la palabra de Dios. This is the word of the Lord. Oremos. Let us pray. Precious Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for your holy word. And we pray, Lord, that you will sanctify us as we listen to it, read and proclaimed. Bendícenos, Señor, con tu palabra. Haznos más como Cristo al escucharla. En Cristo te lo pedimos. Amén. Amén. Ask, seek, and knock. Pedir, buscar, y llamar. When you were a kid or a teenager, maybe, did you ever want something that only your parents could get for you? Something which was good for you and perhaps good for others, maybe good for the whole family. ¿Alguna vez le pediste a tus padres alguna cosa que en verdad querías, que en verdad necesitabas? Algo bueno y de beneficio para ti, para la familia, para los demás. Y tus padres después de trabajar duro, y de echarle ganas, finalmente te consiguieron lo que necesitabas. I remember when as a young teenager I got serious about my piano studies. Since then, my parents did all they could do for me to always have a piano to practice on. All I needed to do was ask. Ask. In today's passage, our Lord Jesus Christ briefly reminds us about original sin. Original sin is the sinful condition which we inherited from Adam's first sin. Debido a la condición que heredamos de Adán, la cual llamamos pecado original, todos nacemos en pecado, crecemos en pecado, y necesitamos ser redimidos de nuestro pecado. Es por eso que nuestro Señor Jesucristo dice en el versículo 11 que somos malos. Pero aunque somos malos, sabemos dar cosas buenas a nuestros hijos. Unless the Spirit of God grants us a new birth, faith in Jesus Christ and repentance from our sins, we are governed by our sinful nature. Yet, once we are in Christ, once we are in Christ, we are no longer governed by our sinful nature. However, 
we continue to struggle with it until the end of our lives. Nevertheless, whether we are in Christ or not, as parents, we still give good things to our children. Como padres, aunque siendo malos, constantemente buscamos dar lo bueno a nuestros hijos, ya seamos creyentes o tal vez no. Hermanos y hermanas, hermanos y hermanas en Cristo Jesús, Dios es bueno. Déjame decir una vez más, Dios es es bueno. Y Él, Él es la fuente de todo bien. Si nosotros, siendo malos, sabemos dar cosas buenas a nuestros hijos, es porque fuimos creados a la imagen de Dios. God is good, and He is the source of all goodness. Therefore, any good that we may do is caused by God Himself. If there is any good in human beings, if we can do anything good, God is the source. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? Pues si vosotros, siendo malos, Sabéis dar buenas cosas a vuestros hijos. Cuanto más vuestro Padre que está en los cielos dará buenas cosas a los que le pidan. My friends, God is good and generous. God is good and generous to all. Yet, He is good and generous, especially to His children. That is, to those that have been adopted as His by His grace through faith in Jesus Christ alone. La bondad de Dios y su, gener y su generosidad son especialmente para sus elegidos, para su pueblo, para ti, para aquellos que han puesto su fe y esperanza en su Hijo unigénito, Jesucristo. All that is good in the eyes of God He gives and wants to give to His children. Let me say that again. All that is good, all that is good in the eyes of God, He gives and wants to give to His children, to all those that He has redeemed through His Son, Jesus Christ. God already gives us so much without us asking. Yet, He wants to give us even more, much more, but we must ask for it. Dios nos quiere dar mucho más, mucho, mucho más, pero quiere que le pidamos. The question, my friends, the question is, what is good? What is good in the eyes of God? He wants to give us everything that is good in His eyes. What is good in the eyes of God? Let there be no question about this today, my friends. God is good and generous, and He stands ready to bless you. God is good, good and generous and wants you to ask Him for His blessings. God is good and generous and, and wants to give you all that which is good in His sight. All that which is good according to His holy word. Not all that which is good according to you, according to society, or according to the world. God wants to bless you and give you all that which is good according to himself. Dios sabe mejor que nosotros lo que es bueno para nuestras vidas 
y también conoce el mejor momento para dárnoslo. Él quiere que le pidamos todo lo que es de acuerdo a su voluntad. Y si le pedimos todo lo que es de acuerdo a su voluntad, todo lo que es realmente bueno, Dios promete contestar nuestra oración. Pedí y se os dará. Buscad y hallaréis. Llamad y se os abrirá. Pidamos a Dios todo lo que Él quiere que le pidamos. Pidamos sin detenernos. Pidamos constantemente. Oremos sin cesar. To be clear, the Gospel of Luke, of Luke makes this passage even clearer, extremely clear. In the Gospel of Luke, our Lord Jesus Christ clearly tells us the good that God wants us to pray for, to seek, to ask for earnestly. Do you know what that is? Or who? Are you ready to hear it? God wants us to ask for, to pray for, to persevere and earnestly ask for more and more of His precious Holy Spirit. That is what we must ask. That is what we must seek. We must knock on the door and beg for more of God's Holy Spirit. Pedí más y más del Espíritu Santo. Remember, God stands ready to give you that which is good in His sight, good according to His holy word, good for you and all His people. God stands ready to give you more of His Holy Spirit. Sé valiente y atrévete. Sé valiente y atrévete a orar de acuerdo a la voluntad de Dios. Y persevera, pide, llama a la puerta, busca. Y Él promete que abrirá, que responderá, que te dará más de su Santo Espíritu. Señor, danos más y más de tu Santo Espíritu. Lord, grant us more and more of your precious Holy Spirit. Amen. Dios te bendiga. God bless you.